Hello everyone. So first of all, don't mind this ugly sweatshirt and my disgusting hair. I know people don't like when um, YouTubers say that, but honestly I look disgusting right now. So just ignore that. But today I'm doing a products I regret buying video and I'm not sure if this is a tag or not. I know that a lot of like beauty gurus do this, but I don't know if it's a tag. It's like if it's actually a tag. I'm just going to go right into the video. I have about seven products I believe. Uh, not too many, and I thought I had a lot more, but I couldn't find anything other than these seven. So this isn't going to be too long, so let's just get right started. I just wanted to start off with these kinds of clips as my first product I regret buying. Um, you can get these at like drugstores, and I know a lot of people like these, but for me, I've grown to like not like them because, um, not only because one of them broke, like one of the teeth broke, but because they're really pointy. And they're not gentle like whatsoever on my scalp and it hurts my scalp really badly they are really like not good quality like these break really easily so I don't like these really bad quality ones so I definitely don't recommend getting those you definitely have to like feel the teeth on them first another hair kind of product and I don't know why this is like so wet next thing would be herbal essences hello hydration moisturizing shampoo I used this for a month or two and for some reason the shampoo and not the conditioner, just the shampoo, caused a lot of build up in my hair and it was just really disgusting and I don't use this anymore. It's just sitting in my shower and I think, I don't know what I'm going to do with this really. I don't know if my mom can use this and maybe it will cause build up for her. I don't know why it caused build up and like I know you're supposed to change your shampoo every like few months because it causes backup or build up, sorry, but it was like right away it started causing build up so... I don't really know why I was doing that, and yeah, this is just not very enjoyable for me to use, but the conditioner works great, and it smells really good, so I don't know why that shampoo was causing buildup for me. It must have been like the chemicals, and it's like reaction to my hair. I don't know, but it was really weird. Um, moving on to face products. Basically, everything else I have is face products, starting with Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. The only reason I regret buying this is because it's a little too dark for me. The product itself isn't that bad. I know um, a few beauty gurus that I watch enjoy this product. I mean, I don't know. I just It doesn't go on my face very well, to be honest. I'm just kind of using it now because I don't want to buy like another foundation yet. Because one, I have to like, when I buy a foundation, I like looking up reviews for it that I buy one that I know is going to be worth my money because they're more expensive than like eyeliner is or stuff like that. I don't know. I didn't enjoy this that much really. I'm just kind of trying to use it up for the moment and you can buy this at your drug stores. Next product is CoverGirl Cover Up in Translucent Medium. Yeah, um, this is just way too powdery like all right, it looks like that. I know it's almost done. You're probably like, if you don't like it, why is it almost done? Because when I wasn't really into makeup, this is what I used as like my like all over like foundation y kind of thing. And I didn't have anything else. And this was my skin color. So I was just like, whatever, I'll use this, no big deal. But just look at this. I mean, look at how powdery it is. And it just doesn't stay on your face. I mean, I would go like this, um, put it on my face, and then I would have a dark sweatshirt on like this, and it gets all over your sweatshirt. Look at that. Just from me touching it now. Like, that's just not good at all. Definitely, I don't even know if they sell this anymore, but if they do, do not get um, this cover-up. It's just not, it's not good. I Next would be these Studio Tools sponge rounds, and they're latex-free. Which, at first I was like, oh, I'm pretty sure that's a good thing, but I'm pretty sure latex is the stuff in the sponges that makes them put your apply your makeup well. And all these do is soak up the makeup. Like, I would put it into this foundation, and it would, like, get all the foundation on here, and then when I would put it on my face, nothing would even come off of these. Like, it just took all the makeup, and it wouldn't put it on my face. So I was like, that's horrible, and I have, like, 12 of these. So, I don't even know if, what I'm going to do with these. Maybe I'll use it for, like, blush. I, I don't know if it's even going to work for that. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but... Um, moving on to, like, facial care. I have this Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser Slash Mask. And I was like, this is, like, this is cool because it works as a cleanser and you can use it as a mask. Nope. Doesn't work as either. It didn't do anything for me. Like, it didn't clear up my pimples whatsoever. It's supposed to kill... 
blackhead and breakout causing bacteria and then the mask is like to get rid of your oil this barely it got rid of oil like okay like not very well and it took a long time it did not get rid of pimples at all for me so this was just a complete waste of money and this one is johnson johnson clean and clear persa gel 10 and it's maximum strength which is what i look for in pimple creams because my pimples are always like really bad and nope this didn't really do anything and if it did it took like two weeks for like one pimple so no uh, this was not too expensive, but I mean, so it was like a waste of money to get this thing, and I've like the whole thing is like left, and I can't use this. And the last thing I think I have is my Lady Speed Stick Stand Guard in Powder Fresh, and really the reason that I regret buying this product. I didn't like this particular Lady Speed Stick because it's supposed to like keep your like your white shirts from getting like yellow stains and I have like problems with like um with sweating too much because that's what happens to me like when I sweat I get yellow stains on my white shirts and that's horrible obviously I don't want that to happen to my white shirts and I was like great this is gonna fix it first week or two it works very well and then it just I don't know it stopped working for me so and the smell is like the generic smell so that's also, like, I wish I got it in a different scent. And now I have a different one. It smells really good. This is, like, the most generic scent you could possibly get in deodorant. So don't get powder fresh, like, scented deodorant from Lady Speed Stick. It's not good. So I don't like this product either anymore. And that's about it. And this was longer than I expected it to be. So I will see you guys right after this, actually, with a new video because I'm filming a few in a row. Bye, guys.